Hey guys, Shock here. Welcome back to Shock Plays Games for another video on the channel. Well, today we're going to do something just a little bit different. I decided to fire up Ark Survival Evolved and I'd show you guys how to do some taming. So, this is basically a guide for any new players that uh, are new to Ark. I guess new players would be new to Ark. And, uh, a guide to help you guys get started um, and the proper steps that I think that you guys should take to get there. Um, from there guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and smash the subscribe button and uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next and we can continue on with some more videos. So for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to go and uh, we'll see you here in a second. Okay guys, so we're just headed out here now on my Griffin Alpha here. Um, by the way, we're on Lost Island on PS5. And uh, this is my own server on an Atrato uh, hosted server. So again, I know you see me here flying in on a Griffin, but this is designed to help uh, anybody who's just getting started. Obviously, uh, what we're going to be doing here today when you see what we're doing you're gonna people who have griffins aren't going to be doing this um i'm just using my griffin to help me get around so anyway if you're just starting off an arc and you got yourself built up a little bit and you want to start taming my advice is is to start with dodos okay dodos are all over the place they're on the beaches um and they're super easy to tame so that's what I'm going to do here now. I'm going to fly around, see if we can't find some dodos, and uh, and then we'll tame them up. Um, ideally, uh, when I'm taming creatures in Ark, I like to look for the highest levels we can. Uh, max level on my server is 180. Um, but for the purpose of getting started, uh, here we got a couple dodos, but they're event dodo so we can't really tame these guys up um we need guys that aren't event dodos and i got a female dodo here but i want to look for something just a little bit lower in level i'll show you guys why um again i was saying normally i i only tame creatures that are max level or around max level um but for the sake of getting started and get kibble started um, I think you guys should start with dodos, and, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go find some dodos, guys, and we'll bring you back when I got some. Alright guys, so imagine you're at your base camp, sitting on the beach, you're just getting started, you know, minus the griffin there, and you want to start taming so that you can start breeding. My recommendation is, the first step is, let's start with something small. Let's start with a dodo. That way we don't need to worry about kibble or anything else like that. If you're not sure what kibble is, we'll get into that in a bit. So... We landed here on the beach, and I've scoped out. There's a few dodos up the beach there. So let's go and have a quick look and see what we got. You want low level to start with, because what you can do is you can get it tamed up pretty quickly, pretty easily. And then from there, you can get eggs off of it. Uh, use those eggs, make kibble, which we'll talk about later. And... Uh, tame creatures a lot quicker so right now we got this level 24 female dodo which is perfect right now it's mate boosted I'm not too worried about that so what we're do we're just gonna knock it out dodos are easy you can just give them one or two punches in the head all 
Alright, actually it took about three or four. It's all going to depend on your melee. So, as you get started out, um, the lower your melee is, the more it's going to take. So, you got your dodo knocked out. What you want to do is you want to take some mijo berries, which I've gone ahead and collected beforehand. You can use other berries, but they're not as effective. We'll talk about that later. But uh, for right now, we're going to use these mijo berries. And these black berries are what's called narcotic berries. We'll put them in there as well. So just in case uh, his torpidity runs out and he wakes up, we got something to feed it real quick which it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And again, that's another benefit of uh, taming up a low level first. Alright, just like that, we have our first tame. It's uh, started off as a level 24 dodo. With taming effect and, uh, effectancy, you get level 35. Now again, we can talk about taming effectancy a little bit later. Let's go in here and claim our stuff that we stuck in them. We're going to put them on passive. Uh, and I was going to pick them up, but I got a shoulder cut on. So we'll get him to follow us back here. Alright, now that we got this little girl back to camp, uh, what we need to do is repeat the process again and uh, find ourselves a male so we can get some eggs going. So I'm gonna run off and do that and we'll be ready. Okay, we're back at our little makeshift base camp now, and it's morning time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our couple dodos that we tamed up, we're going to stick them on mating, and then that way they'll uh, pop out a couple of eggs, and we can use that uh, to make what's called kibble, uh, to use that to tame bigger creatures at a little faster pace. Now you've heard me talk about kibble a couple of times, um, so I'll just explain that as best I can here a little bit. So when you're taming, you have the option of a few different things to tame creatures with. Obviously, you have lower tiers uh, up into higher tiers. So starting off, you have your berries um, and your raw meat, your cooked meat, all that kind of stuff, which isn't as great, but it'll do the trick. Um, then what you want to do is you want to work your way up to like the prime meat and uh, your mutton uh, for carnivores. Um, for herbivores, you want to work your way up to crops, which again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. It's a little time consuming, but uh, definitely something that you should get into if you want to start taming and breeding. So what we're going to talk about here now is kibble. Um, Kibble is the most efficient way to do any kind of taming. As you can see, you can get it on day one. All you need to do is be able to tame a dodo. Kibble is essentially um, eggs from creatures. They're um, sectioned off by size. So you have extra small eggs, small eggs, medium eggs, so on and so forth. And each level of egg will give you a different tier of kibble. Uh, sorry, kibble, not kibble. Um, right now we're dealing with dodos and they give you extra small eggs, uh, which makes what's called is basic kibble, which allows you to tame up the, the lowest tier creatures on the island there. All right, so now that these guys have dropped out a handful of eggs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them, we're gonna grab some water in our water skin here as so, and we're gonna take all of our ingredients. Um, you can get the list of ingredients either off the Arc Wiki or I use Dodo Death. Um, yeah, 
So once you get everything you need for uh, your recipe, you drop it all into your cook fire and you start making some chili. So you can see here in about 30 seconds, we'll get our first piece of kibble. There it is. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Day one, tame some dodos, get some kibble. Okay, now that we got some eggs and we used the cook fire on the beach to show you guys how to make some kibble, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack everything up here and I'm gonna head on back to my base. We'll make some more kibble and then we'll have a discussion of what we're gonna do with the remaining part of the video. So I'll see you guys back at base. All right guys, so now we're back at my base here so we can finish off making up a little bit more of this kibble so we can move on to the next part of the video. Um, yeah, so what we got here, if you guys aren't familiar with it, this is what's called an industrial cooker. You get this a little bit later on in the game. Um, it's essentially the exact same thing as cook pot, except for it's a lot more efficient. Uh, just so for the sake of this, I'll show you that. I've already thrown some eggs in there. Um, as you can see, I got the dodos back here at base breeding up. Um, I have another female dodo here. She just happened to uh, hatch by accident, so works out that it'll work uh, in my favor because now I'll get two eggs dropping uh, instead of one. Anyway, I took some eggs, threw them in the cooker, threw a little bit of meat in there. That should be everything we need, and we'll see how quickly this goes now. Boom, there you go. Just like that. Alright, I'm going to continue making up the rest of this kibble that we need, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so for the next part of the video, I was thinking that we would go and we'd tame up some Fiomias. I'll show you guys how it's a little bit more efficient using kibble and uh, what the difference is between using kibble and other taming methods. Now, the reason that we're going to go with the Fiomia, um, I'll show you guys that uh, either later on in this video or in the next. Um, there is a reason for it. So I'm just going to finish getting ready and then we'll head out and we'll look for some Fiomias.
Okay, after searching for what seems like forever and killing lots of level 24s, uh, we found a 180 here. Um, I did notice that there's another 180, or sorry, another uh, Fiomia over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this uh, one right here. And I'm going to have a quick look and uh, see what the level is on that one. Alright, so yeah, it's only a level 120, so normally I would kill this, but I don't want to spook the 180 I get over there and have to chase it all over the place. So I'm just going to drop it there and uh, we'll grab a little bit of stamina before we get ready for the flyback to base. And then we'll grab this 180 and uh, we'll head on back to base. So we'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so we've made it back to my base, I've waited till morning, <clears throat> excuse me, I, need, uh, I gathered up the things that we were going to need, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to tame up this 180 Fiomia that we found out in the wild using kibble, and what the difference would be. Um, so right now I got her kind of trapped in this tower behind me that I got at base just so I could drop it in there and keep it from wandering around. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's get into it, and we'll, uh, tame this girl up. Voila! Okay, guys, so I got her here in this little tower. You don't really need, a, a tower like this or anything to tame a Fiomia. You can do it right on the beach. Uh, again, I just did this for simplicity's sake. Um, another thing I'm going to do here that you don't really need to is I'm going to use some bolas. So I can show you guys how they work. You get them at a pretty low level and they'll help you tame pretty much anything or defend you against anything. Um, but also quickly before we get into it, I also looked and checked in Dodo decks uh, what it's going to take to knock her out. And level 180, I believe, was uh, around 30, um, 11 with headshots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory and I'm going to craft up another oh, 25. Because <clears throat> I plan on getting headshots and, uh, yeah. All right. So, I got those made up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bowl of her. And the reason for it is, is so she won't run around while I'm shooting her. So, we'll find the sweet spot. So, the sweet spot was 60. So, that's the headshot. So, that's the difference between being a body shot and a headshot is the, is the damage difference there. So now obviously I have the ability to use rifles or um, compound bows. Oh, the the uh, the bowl is broke there. I just shut the door to keep her from getting away. Now you could use another bola again, but it takes I don't know a little bit of time, 30 seconds or so. She must be getting close to being knocked out, so. Alright, I'll use a bola here so I can show you guys. Should be enough time now. Butt out of the wall. Alright, still able to get a headshot on her. Oh, and that's it. So you want to be very careful when you're knocking something out that uh, you don't get an extra shot in. Because um, if you hit it after it gets knocked out, it's uh, it's what's gonna it's gonna ruin its what's called taming effectancy, um, which basically determines what level it's gonna come out at afterwards. So. 
she's a 180. I looked on Dodo Dex. <clears throat> and uh, I believe it was 10 uh, kibble that it would take. Now, if we were to use berries, uh, this is how much it would take to use berries. And if we were to use crops. So that's why the difference is we're going to use kibble. Um, also, on top of it, uh, kibble gives you uh, more taming levels. But the reason for it is is the time. Uh, the quicker from the time you put the food into it to the time it's done. Um, no, sorry, that's wrong. The amount of times it has to eat uh, determines what level it's going to come out at after it's tamed. Um, and that's its taming effect. So if it takes 50 berries versus... 10 pieces of kibble, it's going to tame up quicker um, and at less feeding, and that's going to give it a higher taming effect. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to stick in these 10 kibble. I believe it was 10. I usually just stick one more just to make sure. Now we sat here for a little bit, and uh, she's kind of gotten hungry a little bit, so uh, she's going to eat up pretty quickly. Um, that's what's called uh, star of taming. We'll talk about that once we start taming the in the wild. All right, so you can see that she slowed right down uh, towards the end because that was because she caught up to her hunger. Um, now, if I were to left that for the full, what is it, three minutes or so, uh, there she is, all raised up, perfect tame. Uh, comes out at a 269. Uh, so you lose one level, uh, basically. Um, yeah. Alright. So let's bring her out again when we'll I have a quick look at her. You gonna fit through the door? Let's make this easier on you. Come on. There you go. Okay. So there you have it. We tamed up a level 180 Fiomia using kibble. We showed you what the difference would be between using berries or crops um, versus the kibble. It's a lot more efficient. Now, this is with a lower level creature. So... You can see how if you were to multiply that by what would say, let's say a Rex, you can see the difference in that. Um, it would cut it down significantly. I think it's close to an hour and a half with my settings that I have on my server. Excuse me. Um, which, by the way, is, so my server, I have it on a two-time uh, setting um, from uh, official, so... Yeah, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for hanging out with Shock Plays Games for our first video on Ark Survival Evolved. Remember, if you enjoyed the content or want to see more, make sure you hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. We can stay up to date with all the videos on the channel. And if you have any suggestions or anything you want to see Ark related, please leave it in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to oblige. And until next time, guys, Later.